Hi there, welcome back to my channel. So this is a promotional video in the sense that I'm going to promote a book. I'm going to introduce you to one of my books written titled as Tiptoe to Silence. This, this one. Hope you can see this. Okay, I'll show you the thumbnail later. So this is actually a mystery thriller. You can see. Okay. Uh, The protagonist Rajesh visits his friend Sneha Prabha's house in Kasagod and she resides in a place called as Mel Paramba near to the Chandagiri fort. There in her house uh, he finds a photo album and when he turns over the pages of the photo album he finds a cute girl in her uh, costumes of dance and she was an Indian classical dancer and her name was Radhika Suresh. And he was mesmerized by her beauty and he just inquires, uh, he just finds out from Sneha Prabha uh, who the girl was and she tells him that her name is Radhika. She also tells him that Radhika died a couple of years back due to some unknown reasons. The news of her death actually shocks him. When he moves around the banks of the river Chandragiri, he feels that he is he's being watched by someone but he couldn't figure out who it is. From then on, the daily routine of Mr. Rajesh is being haunted by Radhika's thoughts and he finally, without even his knowledge, he digs deeper into the mystery of her death. He coincidentally meets many of the characters associated with the girl's life into his uh, daily role. He meets all the characters associated with her and then he decides to find out what really happened to this particular character Radhika Suresh. He digs deeper and deeper into her mystery. He tries to find out the people, uh, her relatives, her friends and finally he comes to a conclusion that uh, she had been in love with a person, a journalist called as Jay Kumar. Jay Kumar was a freelance journalist and once when he wanted to write a documentary on Bakel Fort in Kasagod and he happens to visit the Bakel Fort, there he finds Radhika and he, uh, they, uh, he meets Radhika there and both of them falls in love and uh, they used to meet very often and he uh, brings his marriage proposal to her house and he could convince her parents and both of the families agreed to the marriage. But what happens next? Does the marriage happen or did she die before that or what was the reason, exact reason of her death? Rajesh finds out and then he uh, tries to write the story and who actually was Radhika Suresh and how she helped him in writing his book from the crux of this novel and uh, the, in this uh, I would say that uh, here in this entire story River Chandragiri in Kasagod is personified as a main character and also the international fame Bakel Fort is also a main plot in this novel. So this book has been published in Amazon USA and this has also get, got translated into Spanish. This book is available in uh, Amazon and it's uh, globally being sold and then uh, if you are interested to purchase the book I am giving the link in the description field so you could consider purchasing if you are interested. There are two formats, one is the paperback format and another is the Kindle format and uh, uh, please go through the link and also if you happen to read the book please uh, give me your honest feedback, I will be here, okay, so stay connected, thanks so much.